Delicious. Good morning, I'm Tom Spellman with Dave Wilson Nursery. We're here at the Wolfskill Experimental Orchard in Winters, California. We're here with Jeff Morsfelter this morning. We're going to visit the germplasm collection, USDA germplasm collection of pomegranates. Jeff, why don't you tell us where we're at and what we're looking at here? Well, this tree is uh, the industry standard. It's uh, wonderful. And actually, this entire block that we're looking at is about 50 trees um, in volume. It's, uh, these trees are 60 plus years old. Uh, they came to um, actually to, the, to UC Davis. Uh, when UC Davis handled the collection, um, this material came out of the uh, plant introduction station in Chico. Let's cut a fruit and try it out, and then we can compare it to some of the other varieties. Sounds great. That is a beautiful piece of fruit. Well, you're right. Not really what I would call a hard seeded variety. You nope. know, wonderful is kind of a medium yep, in between medium, medium soft, soft and hard seeded. Kind of thing. Yeah, I refer to it as a tweener type because it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely not a hard type. It's not as soft as some of the varieties that we have in the collection. Um, a noticeable seed, but not, not hard enough that you don't want to just chew Right, certainly fruit. an edible seed. Yep. So this one, Jeff, is our red silk variety. Yes, that's correct. And so, as you can see, red rind to it. Um, we'll see in a second that the arrows are also red. Um, a little bit harder seed on this particular variety, but really nice flavor. You can see nice. Yeah, nice, nice color interior arrows. color. Come and give it a shot. Harder seed, definitely. Yep. But a really nice, flavor. Refre refreshing flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, has almost a little bit of a of a spicy character to it. I think that's that tang, that little mm -hmm. bit of acidity to it. A little bit more but acid. It, but it definitely has that kind of cherry, grenadine mm -hmm. type flavor mm -hmm. going for it, that pomegranate flavor. So this variety in our collection we call uh, pink satin. And um, it has really nice mild flavor, very soft seeded variety. And I've been really looking forward to trying one off of a nice mature tree like this. So. There you go. So here we are middle of October. And so now the fruit is taking on a nice pink blush to it. You could pick it earlier, it would be kind of milder in color, uh, we'll call it a little more tannish um, in color, but I think that the flavor is actually better when you wait a little bit mm -hmm. longer. Well, the exterior color is just beautiful on this, you know, it's, yep. it's not a brilliant bright red, but it's just a almost a, a fluorescent pink color, just very, very good looking piece of fruit. This would be really nice to uh, sprinkle out on, uh, on salads or use as a topping for cheesecake or for, something for like certain. that, yeah, be it would be really good for that. And like I said, I like it cold. I just like it one of these things that uh, I think is very f refreshing on a, um, say, hot fall afternoon. Yeah, completely edible seed. Just a very nice little mild crunch. Wonderful, refreshing flavor. No astringency. Nope. Also, these lighter colors are um, pretty much non-staining. Yep. So we could even get it on our beer shirt. Let's try. Let's try. <laughs> this is definitely one of the varieties that came to us from Turkmenistan. This kind of cluster that's right here um, came from the first shipment of material um, from there. And it really kind of came because our curator at the time, George White, had made a trip uh, there. Uh, I'm sure met Dr. Levin, who was the curator mm -hmm. of that particular collection, which then set up later when the Soviet Union fell another oh 60 odd or so items that came to us from that particular collection and right. my so i am told this was his favorite of that's the what collection. i understood yeah so, so this is this is the true selection of parvianca yeah so this is an excellent variety um has the you know kind of basic characteristics that you want a red rind uh can have quite dark red arrows uh very soft seeded uh, excellent um sugar acid balance. Certainly has size going for it. Yep. So we're still not at full color that this thing could end up being and hopefully we've um, reached a good berry flavor but there's a decent brain shot as far wow. as I'm yeah, concerned. Yeah that's a beautiful piece of fruit. Nice color. Yeah, yeah excellent color and look to here we don't have too many membranes right? Yeah. yeah. That's just beautiful. Wow. When this fruit is on it's got the about seed. as good, yeah. It's like there's no seed. Yeah, super soft seeded. Wow. This is this is a really really good variety. I mean, it's totally soft seeded, completely edible. The flavor is um, 
it, it's, it's aromatic and it's, it's pungent, but it's very, very pleasing flavor. I, I can understand why this would be a favored selection out of that yep. huge collection. So this is the variety, a true variety Eversweet. And this, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was a John uh, Chater variety that yes. came out of uh, Camarillo? That's correct. Yeah. And so my understanding with what John Chater was trying to do is he was trying to uh, produce varieties that, were, um, that would work in a coastal right. environment. Right, right. And so Eversweet is a, um, a sweet pink type, soft seeded, uh, definitely one of his more popular varieties. I think this is probably John's most popular variety. Here we got nice, nice color. Uh, on it, so very much like Sin Pepe, very similar kind of piece of fruit, or to the pink satin. This is another one where the seeds you can just go right. Yeah, through. very soft. Good. Yeah, completely edible seeds. Yeah. This is the one we're calling uh, sharp velvet. Yep. And it is a John Chater variety yeah, too. Yeah, John Chater. Sweet tart variety, often a little more emphasis on the tart side. A um, little crunchy seed uh, in there. Okay, we've got to try it now. And so I've been eyeballing, I've been eyeballing that segment right there. Whew. Tangy, I could tell by the... the whoo. <laughs> yeah, I know why we call it sharp. Mm -hmm. mm. But at least not, I had, mm -hmm. had nice fruit flavor to it. It's um, not bad. It'll very nice flavor. Yeah. You know, this is this is a, a very, very typical, you know, wonderful type pomegranate with that, you know, very bold flavor. So, Jeff, the reason that we're actually going to try this variety is we, we've tasted soft seeded varieties and, and medium or crunchy seeded varieties. And this one is what you would consider the true hard seeded yeah, variety. Hard seeded, bigger seed, um, definitely variety I'd look towards as a juice mm -hmm. type because a little bit harder seed. This is getting actually pretty close to yeah, this color. It's, it's not pretty inside. Seed not necessarily as dark as some of the other varieties. And what, what was the name of this variety? So this is Al Sirenar. But give you a little perspective here. That's a hard seed. So not one that you really want to chew through because mm -hmm. it's got definitely some hardness oh. to it. Nice flavor. You could break your tooth on that yep. one. Yeah, but good fruity flavor. Nice flavor. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice, nice flavor. flavor. But see now, watch you know, your dentures fill. With that, when you say, "Oh, that's a hard seed," but now, like I said, you got a little bit of a, a feel for really what the range is right. that we're talking about. Yeah. Um, where all of a sudden those soft seeded or tweener kind of types all of a sudden seem a lot softer. Absolutely. Than yeah. uh, than they were before. Right? Yeah, Not yeah. That kind of thing, so. Well, I've eaten a lot of pomegranates in my career, but I've never had the opportunity to put this many varieties close together, all you know, all in one little tour so it was it's re really been wonderful to be able to go through with you today and and try all these selections I really really appreciate your oh time. you're you're my pleasure you're very welcome I I am um, very happy to get the opportunity to share this with us with you guys I mean it's an unbelievable collection that we have here that it's kind of like a hidden gem uh, I think here and oh, yeah. and, uh, um, and I'm, I'm glad to get to share it with you thank you Jeff you're welcome